What's going on there, folks? Good morning. It is the Earthmaster back here on this Friday already, May 5th, 2023. Happy Cinco de Mayo or de Mayo? Which one ever you prefer? It is a beautiful Friday out here in Texas, about 9.34, right? 9.34 a.m. Central Time. Uh, latest quake shows a 2.5. Looks like uh, around the Mediterranean area, specifically... Let's see exactly where that's at for this 2.5. Not a big earthquake, just a little one up in Romania currently taking place. All right. Uh, do you have a little bit of activity to mention here in Yellowstone where it looks like we're having a earthquake swarm as of about an hour or so ago in the area of the central portion of the caldera? Looks like quite a few earthquakes popping up here within the last... Oh, within the last hour, as listed here on the graph. Now, I don't think USGS is reporting anything coming in yet to this area. Uh, only a handful of quakes that were reported from yesterday. But uh, according to the graph here, it looks like uh, we got a pretty good earthquake swarm kicking up. Again, centered around the Little West Thumb area, which is the center portion of the Yellowstone Caldera, uh, which is outlined here in the black uh, circle. So there it is mentioned on the Earthquake Live 3D stream. I do have a um, Lake Yellowstone station that is picking up this activity as we speak. All right, what else we got going on out here? We did have a six point, well, originally it was a 6.3 that came in here to the west coast of Japan. Um, this got downgraded to a 6.2 uh, earthquake in that mix there early this morning when I was trying to sleep. Uh, couldn't sleep last night from all the excitement out here from all the storms in Texas, but uh, ended up getting a little bit of sleep afterwards. So 6.2, uh, also some other smaller microquake, or not microquakes, but moderate quakes here in this area, uh, including an aftershock of a 5.8. Now this is obviously a good indicator of some regional stress up here against the northwestern portion here of the plate. That includes the Japan Trench. So continue to watch that. Either way, it's a, somewhat of a stronger quake. Uh, it is in a region that does see quite a bit of earthquake activity, that's for sure. It was only about 8.7 kilometers below the surface there. All right, let's see what else we got across the region. The Kuro Kamchaka Trench remains relatively quiet for now. Philippine plate, about the same. Most of the activity here was uh, um, from last night up into the Japan area, although we did see a little bit of movement here across the Indonesia area and New Guinea. Uh, also just off the coast here of New Zealand, uh, looks like we've seen a 5.6 earthquake. We're kind of waiting for that here over the past few days. Uh, it has been somewhat heightened across the New Zealand area and it uh, looks like they had a 5.6. 194 kilometers deep. This looks like it's right at the northern end here of the Hikurangi subduction zone, Bay of Plenty. Remember, there's a Kermadec Trench up here and the Hikurangi uh, major subduction zone off the east or the uh, yeah, east coast of North Island uh, sits within this area. So it's a little on the concerning side to see that five pointer there in the deeper regions of that subduction zone. Uh, let me bring up GeoNet servers here real quick and see what we have. They were reporting this as a 5.3. 171 kilometers deep there and in, roughly into that same region of the uh, northern end of the Hikurangi subduction zone. So no doubt this earthquake probably made quite the signal on the drums there and as you can see it showed up fairly nicely across the area. <clears throat> Again this looks like it just struck here. Oh when was this? Let's go back here to the uh, map. This looks like about four in the morning or so which would be west coast time. Uh, I'm not for sure why, well, it's going with the computer time here. I haven't changed my time yet here to central time here in Texas, still on the west coast time. 7.30 in the morning, yeah, I don't know. I don't normally do earthquake updates that early in the morning. All right, so yeah, definitely, um, let's go back to our drums here and check out that uh, beautiful signature of that five pointer today, uh, North Island, New Zealand. 
check out the uh, volcano drums here real quick and uh, see what's going on. See if it stirred up anything here across any of the volcanoes. Of course, that will show up here on the seismographs as well as uh, far as that five-pointer. Nothing going on across the Taupo Super Volcano. Again, that's going to be the five-point six earthquake that struck there into the Bay of Plenty. Again, way down there into the Hikarangi subduction zone, almost 200 kilometers deep. As uh, far as other earthquake activity goes within this region, um, looks like there was a 2.6 South Island uh, and some previous earthquake activity there from yesterday. Um, the week and above, let's go to the all magnitudes here. Uh, this will give us a better indicator of what's going on. But I think that earthquake right now, uh, a couple hours ago, was just the uh, main one so far today. But still, just, you know, heads up, be prepared. We've definitely seen a lot of movement up here into the deeper regions of the Kerbadek Trench and the Tonga Trench here over the last week. So it's going to adjust, and that 5.6 is just a little adjustment uh, accordingly. You know, these things, these plates move all around, and they have to adjust. Otherwise, we build up quite a bit of strain for some bigger ones here uh, within that area. All right, further up north here into the Tonga region, Looks like uh, the latest quake from yesterday at 4.4 into the Fiji Islands area. Uh, and again, that was some deeper movement, 516 kilometers deep there. All right, further to the west. Um, a lot of this is from yesterday, some of it from early this morning, it looks like. Some fours, fives. Uh, the latest one, though, shows a 4.7 up into the China area. Well north here. Looks like about... 10 kilometers deep or so. Not a whole lot popping off over here across the uh, rest of the world. There's some earthquake activity there into the Turkey region, mostly some twos. These are all aftershocks from the uh, earthquakes there a couple months back. Atlantic Ocean, fairly clear. Not a whole lot going on across the uh, South America region. Got quite a few twos and threes today into that area. Nothing big popping off though. Uh, far as the west coast area goes, let's see what's going on here across the um, California area. As we zoom in here to the west coast, it's still got some weather going on out there into the California region with some cooler temperatures and some scattered showers out there today. Uh, let's see, Southern Cal doesn't look like we've got too much going on today. A little swarming up around the Borrego Springs, San Jacinto Fault Zone. All microquakes. Let's give a quick glance here at the 2.5 map and above. This will give us a good indicator of what's going on. Looks like a 3.3 north of the Garlock Fault shear zone near the Grapevine. Uh, I-5 runs through this area. They call it the Grapevine. All right. Uh, looks like that was just off the White Wolf Fault zone, or potentially potentially the Willer Ridge Fault. Northern California, fairly quiet. Uh, Pacific Northwest as well. And, of course, the Yellowstone area. It looks like they're chiming in on some of the activity <clears throat> that occurred here just uh, about an hour ago with one earthquake being reported, uh, 2.3, that they just threw in there. Uh, but we know definitely there's a lot more. Um, just looking at this graph right here, we're pretty, uh, it's probably a good, well, I don't know, 10, 15 earthquakes or so in this little spitter spatter event of a of an earthquake uh movement um trimmer map let's check out the trimmer we forgot to check that let's see what we got going on 22 epicenters of trimmer that's about it not a whole lot being reported currently at the uh trimmer levels of the cascadia all right uh that's a movement up into Alaska. It looks like northern Alaska up around the Brooks Range seeing some smaller quake activity. Uh, but again, nothing major up there. Uh, into the big island of Hawaii. Looks about the same as it did yesterday. It's a movement around Kilauea Volcano. Um, let's check out the hazard notification system here. I think we got the notification system here, I believe. Let's see here. There we go. So HVO, um, Kilauea daily update. That was from yesterday, so nothing's really changed, it looks like, overnight. Uh, still just seeing a, a small amount of earthquake activity. 
there at the um, Big Island. All right, let's check out the uh, space weather event. Uh, see if we've got anything major going on. Looks like we're recovering from a M flare just about an hour or so ago, a couple hours ago. Looks like we had a long duration M flare event with a subsequent CME. So let's see what's going on. I'm just seeing this for now. Um, a busy morning on the sun. This is according to Kevin here, the owner of SolarHam.net. Uh, looks like a long duration M 2.1 solar flare and a number of coronal mass ejections were visible from a prominence eruption uh, earlier today. Looks like we had one on the northeastern limb. Uh, that's going to be this beautiful feature right here on the sun. Uh, see that blasting off of plasma. Doesn't look like it's earth directed, but it did produce a uh, man, quite the uh, a cloud there, so to speak, of plasma. Uh, let's see. Did have a second event. Looks like that was uh, headed off to the northeastern section of the sun as well, or from there. Um, Looks like, uh, well, could could get a glancing blow potentially here in the coming days. Uh, and that would adjust the three-day geomagnetic forecast, maybe for some uh, storming. I was going to say swarming, but uh, storming up around the higher latitudes potentially. Right now doesn't look likely, uh, but again, that's all subject to change. We'll definitely keep an eye on it. Either way, uh, this is coming off of a very active region on the eastern section here of the sun you can see numerous sunspots this is a very active area and the most recent image here not for sure what's going on with this looks like some type of uh, issue with their uh, filter but uh, yeah we're definitely getting uh, quite a bit of sunspot activity here and a few of these definitely harbor some potential for some stronger flaring uh, in the coming hours and days we'll continue to watch that uh, this area very active region 99% chance for a C flare M flare at 15% chance X flare remains elevated at about 15% chance and um, oh, I meant to do this one right here so yeah definitely uh, keep you guys updated on what's going on here with the Sun right now no major auroras are forecasted but that's all subject to the um, events that unfolded this morning and their path towards Earth or away from it. Storm Prediction Center today. Uh, again, we're out here in Texas, Central Texas to be exact, um, right in the slight category. Looks like that's going to be the story of the weather out here for a little while. Uh, centered mostly over Central Texas area. Today, uh, most of the slight category is around Dallas, Fort Worth, Arlington, Grand Prairie area. There is a 2% tornado risk here that covers Killeen, Round, uh, Round Rock area of Texas as well. Um, so we're going to be out here covering that activity later today and more likely probably go live here on the YouTube channel um, once things get going here a little bit later, late afternoon time period. Main threat I think right now is just going to be that hatched area, a 15% chance of, well, some pretty big hail. Um, definitely don't want to be involved in that. Uh, but that's what the uh, possibility is today, it looks like. Um, Copper's Cove area, Cleburne, all in the uh, category to see some large hail. So we'll uh, continue to check on that today. Again, this is going to be late afternoon, probably 3 or 4, and then onward into the early evening. So live stream is up and running, folks. Um, me and Missy Mimi's are out on location here in Texas. Beautiful state of Texas, enjoying some weather. Um, if you guys know any good places to eat out here around the central Texas area, let me know. Looking, always looking for some good food. Kind of get tired of the, uh, you know, the, the fast food when you're out on the road on occasion. So, let me know what uh, what's good to eat out here. I know Texas has some good food, bar good barbecues, uh, and whatnot. Either way, check back in a little bit later. Uh, today, folks, we'll be uh, streaming some views here from Texas. Take care. Uh, we'll catch you guys back here a little bit later tonight with the update. Uh, in between then, though, we'll be streaming some uh, some beautiful views out here in Texas. Missy Mimi's out here. 
How's it going? <laughs> put her, I put her on the spot. Sorry. All right, guys. Have a good one. Um, peace out. Stay safe out there. We'll catch you guys back here a little bit later.